Hello students, welcome back to the SST class. In this video, we will continue chapter number 11 that is pollution. First, I want to ask some questions related to the previous video and I hope you know the answers very well. So the questions are, what is pollution? What are the types of pollution? What are the three main reasons of pollution? What is air pollution? What are the natural causes of air pollution? Name some human activities that contribute to air pollution. What are the effects of air pollution? What are the solutions to prevent air pollution? The objective of today's video is to know about the meaning, causes, effects and solutions of water pollution. So the terms of today's video are first is water pollution means the action of making water dirty and dangerous. Next is global warming. It is a process that causes the earth's temperature to rise and makes the earth warmer. Now students Open page number 76 of your book and see the point water pollution. As I have already told you, water pollution means the action of making water dirty and dangerous. Now let's start reading. Water bodies such as lakes, rivers, oceans and groundwater get polluted by human activities. Bathing and washing in rivers, dumping household waste and untreated sewage water into rivers, dumping industrial waste, oil leakage from oil tankers are some of the human activities that pollute water. Now students, underline the word ground water means water held underground in the soil. Next is dumping means throw away. Waste means unwanted or not in use. Untreated means not treated. Sewage means waste water. Industrial waste means waste material produced by industrial activity. Now students, see some pictures. Showing the reasons of water pollution. So the first is bathing in river. Second, washing in river. Third, dumping household waste in river. Next, untreated sewage water into river. Dumping industrial waste in river. It may be in the form of liquid or solid. Oil leakage from oil tankers. These are some human activities that pollute water. This can be harmful to organism and plants which live in these water bodies. Natural factors like a storm can also pollute water by dissolving soil and other particles which will make water unsuitable for cooking or drinking. Now students underline the word organism means an individual animal plant etc. Next is dissolving means to become broken up or absorbed by something. Unsuitable means not right or appropriate. Natural factors like storm it also pollute water when soil and other particles added in pure water. Polluted water is very harmful for animals and plants which live in water bodies. It's also unsuitable for us for cooking, drinking etc. Water pollution can be reduced if the rivers were not used for bathing. The washing and treating of industrial waste before disposal into 
rivers and creating awareness among the people about the harmful effects of water pollution also help to reduce water pollution now students underline the word disposal means the action of getting rid of something next is awareness means knowledge of a situation or fact next is harmful means likely to cause harm there are some solutions by which we can prevent water pollution first is stop bathing and washing in rivers next is management of industrial waste it means industrial waste must be treated properly before disposing it into rivers next is create awareness among the people next is avoid direct dumping of household waste into water systems now concentrate on the para which is given in box global warming when the amount of gases like carbon dioxide and methane increase in the atmosphere they trap the light and heat of the sun and increase the temperature on the earth this results in the melting of glacier and polar ice caps at a faster rate animals and plants that cannot bear the change become extinct underline the word trap means to catch next is glacier means a slow moving river of ice formed by snow next is polar ice cap means region of planet covered with ice next is extinct means vanished due to global warming the temperature of the earth is increasing day by day this results in melting of glaciers and polar ice caps this is a picture of a polar ice cap you can see that white part is called polar ice cap human activities like too much use of fossil fuels deforestation bursting fire crackers etc and natural activities like volcanic eruptions forest fires etc all these are the reasons of global warming it is extremely harmful to the earth as well as living beings it has been studied that one third of all plant and animal species could be extinct by 2070 as a result of global warming global warming results floods in lower areas of lands change in climatic condition melting of glaciers etc you can see the picture it is of a glacier then and now this happened due to global warming so in today's video we have discussed about water pollution and global warming i hope today's lesson is quite clear to you now your homework is to revise the chapter and terms that we have discussed today and do question number 3 of exercise e which is given at page number 78 and do exercise f which is given at page number 79 thanks for watching bye